it's no me. Been off the points is like back when. Gang in the field, bitch. We be something like the pack 10. Gang win. We around this motherfucker, man. Go back, bitch. Stand on that. Bitch. To the head. I'll show a nigga spill it. My ninth and wood, nigga. Up the street from the village. Gangland TV to sit there and lie. Hit the like button. Don't be boosty. And subscribe to the channel. And hit the notification bell, man. That's, that's shit easy, man. You know what I'm saying? Easy. Subscribing. That's free as fun. Hit the notification bell. That's free as fun. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. That, 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 that shit is free. Some of the things, so the people won't think I'm making up words. You know, it, I think it'll be helpful. All right, let me see. So, Willie Bland, who admitted to firing a weapon at the scene, he stated that he seen the two males he had identified as Joshua and Watkins throughout the evening, that he had seen them with guns. He believed that Joshua said something and began pulling the gun, so he reached and punched him. He thought that males were about to try and rob Quavo. Now, now we can just stop right there. And, and let me just explain that little piece how I feel about that bullshit. Now, clearly, this bland dude gave a police report that he seen these two guys with guns earlier. But these are the same two guys that he decided he was going to punch with his gun out and hit them with a gun. What do you think going to happen? You know what I mean? You, you, you seen these niggas with guns and you going to hit them? You know, these people, these same guys that he talking about, man, if any enemy would have came in their direction, they'd have had some problems. But as you can see, this clown saw that and decided... I'm going I'm to I'm try them two gone with my one. And then he, he tell a blatant lie about they getting ready to rob Quavo. And Lord knows if anybody, any of them people would have tried to rob or touch Quavo, it was going to be some, some real problems. So that's just not true. You want me to finish reading? Yeah, yeah, might as well. Let's let them know how... This dude, here's what he doing, uh, Gilly. This dude right here is running back in Atlanta getting on the real niggas. So we have to get him a million dollars worth of game. Let him know. Now, this is what he doing out here in, in Houston. Oh. Now, if he running up under y'all and, and you embrace him, that's on y'all. But I can't, I can't hide it from him. I want him to know. <laughs> yeah. And I know y'all them kind of people, so let's, let's let him know. Um, uh... He believed it was probably Cameron Joshua shooting at him. So he began shooting at Cameron Joshua. Video showed that Joshua ran back inside the bowling alley. But there is no video evidence showing him firing a gun. Now just this little piece of, 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 of who he's saying. This when he put my son's name in his mouth. From right here, a large black male. With the victim's group later identified as Willie Bland is seen either striking or... No, no, no. Let's go to Paul Way say who gave him a gun and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Willie Bland further stated he initially obtained the gun that he discharged from Jazz Prince, who was hosting the group, including Willie Takeoff and Quavo, while they visited Houston. Willie stated that he had asked Jazz for a gun and Jazz provided them with one that was in the truck. Now listen at that. Now, Quavo, as I stated, is Jazz's brother. So of course, Jazz don't mind making sure, you know, the homie got some heat because we understand that what goes on, right? But uh, now you got this clown, you know, and I don't know how it end up in his hand, you know, but it end up in his hand. 
this clown is saying somebody want to rob him that gave him a gun. Why would you give a man a gun and try to rob him? <laughs> you know what I mean? This shit just don't add up and make sense, man, is, is what I'm getting to. And I'm just trying to get people to, to realize how big a damn fool this dude here is. And now he's ratting all over the place and, and, and ran back and, you know, the bus, bus shots and ran to the airport and ran his ass back immediately. You know what I mean? He didn't care nothing about the homie take off. As soon as he done that, he went straight to the airport and, and tore ass home. But I'm going to leave you with all this paperwork and you can look at it later on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't leave me with this shit. Huh? <laughs> I'm leave you with all that, all this rat shit. <laughs> Y'all going to Atlanta, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that's what I love about million dollars worth the game because you know what I mean. We ain't about that fake shit, and we want to let it be known, whatever it is. You know what I mean? You know, let that shit. Definitely, when it comes to these rats, we can't protect them kind of individuals. I'm gonna you know. say this like I think we we living in a time in the hip hop culture where it's though a lot of us um, as we move around we got to be more level minded. Yeah, we got to use security. Uh, we got to communicate with each other. I think we just got to be more respectful of one another, and we got to be thankful for the opportunities that hip hop has provided us with. Um, there's a lot of brothers out here on the ground that wish they had the opportunities. A lot of dudes is taking penitentiary chances every day to take care of their family, to take care of their kids. But then there's a lot of brothers that don't have to no more. And they out, you know, they in a better situation. And I just want to say this to a lot of people, man. If you ain't a street nigga, don't wait till you get some rap money, give millions of dollars and become one. Mm. Because what's happening is... You know, and this ain't got nothing to do with this situation right yeah. here. But what I'm seeing in the rap culture is that a lot of dudes was in the neighborhood. Only thing they did was rap. They even played sports. They rap. But soon as they got the millions, and they got a bunch of dudes that's in the street that now going to listen to them because they want to go for the ride. They want to get taken care of. They want to get broke off. Like yeah, I ain't win. We around this motherfucker, man. Bang, bitch. Bang, bang. Stand on that. To the head. I'll show a nigga spillage. My knife and wood, nigga. Up the street from the village. TV to sit there and lie. Hit the like button. Don't be boosty. And subscribe to the channel. And hit the notification bell, man. That's, that's shit easy, man. You know what I'm saying? Easy. Subscribing. That's free as fuck. Hit the notification bell. That's free as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. That, 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 that shit is free. I can't get a feel, bitch. We be something like the Pac-10.